Well, experts say that many people who are autistic have a difficult time when it comes to social interaction or making new friends outside of their family. And that's right. And with difficulty making friends, it can be hard to climb up on stage and perform for a crowd. So one doctor is combining her PhD in psychology with her passion for theater to help change that. First glance, your typical youth theater rehearsal, but for clinical psychologist Blythe Corbett, it's really her research lab. This two-week camp called Sense Theater stars 14 autistic children who are paired with 14 young actors. They're rehearsing for a play written and directed by Corbett. So these are other children that are masters at social communication, and we team them up with our children with autism. So they really serve as expert models. See, it's completely flat. I'm sitting in a chair 10 hours a day. By learning acting techniques, these children can understand emotions and conversations better. And for shy kids like Abby Heist, it's a safe place to practice. I can like sing with nobody like laughing. Abby may not be the lead, but like her peers, she takes center stage in Corbett's research. She's going up on stage by herself and she's all animated during the songs and it's been really great to see how much the children have grown in such a short period of time. Corbett says their social interactions, brain functions and stress levels all significantly improve when the curtain rises. I want nothing more, nothing less. But what we actually see in the theater, which we can't measure in the lab, is a development of friendships. And that deserves a standing O. What a great idea. And the SENSE and SENSE Theater stands for Social, Emotional, Neuroscience, and Endocrinology. Oh, that is just so awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, many people are living with autism right here on Delmarva. And after the diagnosis, there can be some adjustments. So it's nice to have a group of people you can turn to. Joining us to tell us more is Frank Shade, a development support staff member with Autism Delaware. Frank, thanks so much for joining oh, me. Oh, thank you so much for having us down here. So first off, tell me, what is Autism Delaware? What do you guys do? Well, we're a nonprofit organization that that uh, supports families, we support uh, uh, awareness, we support clinical services, um, uh, we advocate both at a state and local level, and uh, uh, also uh, promote the uh, uh, job opportunities for our adult uh, 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 people affected with autism. So through Autism Delaware, you've been able to see what a difference it makes in the community, haven't you? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. By seeing the people that, you know, we're able to help get jobs as they become adults, as they leave the educational process, uh, to see the number of children that are being able to be helped in the educational process because they're being diagnosed and then being able to be funneled towards correct treatment and uh, clinical services. So not only have you been able to see a change in the actual people, but you've seen a change in the numbers over the years. Oh, absolutely. Uh, the, the, the in 1991, one, there were, in, in the Delaware educational system, there were 152 children in the Delaware educational system. In the 2014-15 school year, there were 1,512 children in the Delaware educational system. That's almost a 900% increase in 23 years. And there are advocates in the Delaware public schools to help these children, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, uh, there's more and more teachers that are being offered uh, uh, training in autism. Uh, we have great organizations like the Consortium in Lewis, which is a school that deals specifically with autistic children. So it, it, it's becoming more and more forefront. So who qualifies uh, for help from Autism Delaware? Uh, anybody who falls within the spectrum. Uh, the parents, uh, that if they need help, are, you know, can call us. Uh, probably one of the greatest things that we hear is that, you know, it's, it's sad, but a parent will call and say, I'm at my wit's end, I don't know what to do. My child is, has, has been diagnosed with autism, I can't even get out of the house. So we have people that can direct them into the right programs babysitters, respite care, clinical programs, whatever that might be. The parents shouldn't feel bad for feeling this way either. Oh, absolutely not. It's not, it's not their fault because one, there's no, there's no diagnosis for autism and there's no cure for autism. So you shouldn't feel bad. It's something we have to deal with on a daily basis, all of us. Yeah, and we all need a break. All right, so in order to offer these services, you have a fundraiser coming up. We do. Tell me uh, about that. This is our annual Blue Jean Ball in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware at the convention center. Um, it's a great event. It's uh, supported by local restaurant tours. Uh, uh, the, some of the great craft brew people are there. Uh, your ticket includes all the wine, alcohol. It includes all the food. Uh, there's a live and silent auction that helps us raise the money. And then at the end of the evening, we have a great local band that plays. Love Seed Mama Jump will oh. be there. So we can dance the night away and have a great time. 
uh, the attire, uh, as the name of the ball, it's blue jeans and bling. 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 Uh, I like it's, that. it's great to see uh, the ladies show up, you know, in their blue jeans and high heels and all, all the jewelry and stuff. And the guys show up in everything from jeans to tuxedos, you know. But it's a great event, and uh, we love seeing people come out and enjoy it. So the proceeds go to help all the, uh, to, I guess, fund all the services you provide. But real quick, let's run through the event details of the Blue Jeans. Uh, the Blue wow. Jean Ball? Blue Jean okay. Ball. Let's run through it's, it. It's Saturday night, September the 26th from 6 to 11. Uh, it's at the Rehoboth Beach Convention Center. The doors, like I said, open at 6, and the attire is Blue Jeans and Bling. Blue All right, Jeans Frank, and thank Bling. you so much for coming oh, in Oh, thank you so much for having it. us in and helping us make people aware of, of what we're doing. All right, if you would like more information about Autism Delaware or its Blue Jean Ball, just visit WBOC.com, click on our picture at the top of the page. Well, it sounds like the Blue Jean Ball is going to be a ball. Coming up next, we get a little taste of the event in the Delmarva Life Kitchen. We're making a homemade Chipotle crab dip. And later, the Bo Dickerson Band takes the Delmarva Life stage. But first, Sesame Street Live! Make a New Friend is coming to Salisbury October 6th and 7th at the Wicomico Youth and Civic Center, and we want to give you tickets to see the show. We're giving away a family four-pack of tickets each day beginning Monday through Wednesday and two on Thursday. For your chance to win, go to WBOC.com and click on our picture at the top of the page. For your link to the contest, fill in the required fields and click Submit. Good luck! Delmarva Life, we'll be right back.